guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video. I literally went to the store, ran out and picked up these items just to try for you guys today. I actually wanted to really try them myself. I went out to my local Walgreens and picked up some of the new Wet n Wild products. I got a couple of the foundations just because I wasn't sure what shade I was in, but I think I found the right one. I also picked up two of the concealers. I grabbed the pressed powder, and then I also grabbed three of the Katsu liquid lipsticks. So I'm super excited to be trying all of these products for the very first time. So if you wanna see me try this product and you're interested in what my thoughts are, then please keep watching. I hope you all enjoy this video. I think I'm gonna go in with golden beige. I've already primed my skin. Just really quick, I'm just gonna read off the, the website what the claims are of this foundation. Our new high-performing skin perfecting foundation went major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera-ready makeup every time. Specially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin no filter perfection. High-performing breakthrough formula featuring light adjusting complex to help prevent white cast in photos and tested under seven light conditions with and without the use of flash. It looks like there are 20 different shades, so they do have a good variety of shades, but I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up real quick. I'm gonna apply it with two different tools. I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender, which is my favorite way to apply foundation, and then I'm gonna go in with like a uh, synthetic foundation brush and do that on the other side of my face. So this is the applicator. Um, it's got like a little spatula. I'm not gonna put this directly on my face because I feel like that's kind of gross because you're basically putting whatever's on your face back into the foundation. Um, and I just don't think that's very clean. So I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. So on this side of my face, I'm going to use a damp beauty blender. And I've got, as you can see, some acne scarring. Um, this isn't really a breakout, it's just still red. And I've got a little scar right here. We're gonna see what the coverage is of this foundation. I don't think it says on the website, so let's just see. I actually think the color is going to match pretty well. It did cover this up. I mean, you can still see a little bit of it coming through, but for the most part, it covered it up. And I'm gonna take a little bit more on the back of my hand and I'm gonna go in with this BH Cosmetics brush. I think it's a, it's like a flat angled kabuki brush. It doesn't have a number or anything. I got this in a set, but this is one of my favorite foundation brushes. So I'm gonna take that and then just use that on the other side of my face. So that is the foundation on this side of my face with the brush and this side with the beauty blender. I actually like the way it looks better on this side with the beauty blender. I think it went on more evenly. It also looks a lot um, more like full coverage. On this side it's very light and I also feel like it didn't go on as smooth. Like it just looks a lot more flawless. On this side, you can still see that spot there. It's pretty dark though. And I'm more of a full coverage kind of girl anyway. So I'm gonna go in with another layer just to see if this is a buildable foundation and see if I can get a bit more coverage with a second layer. After the second layer, I did get more coverage. So it's definitely buildable. Uh, it did stay a little tacky, but I'm gonna be setting that with a powder anyway. Uh, and then this spot right here, you can still see it, but it's not as dark as it was before. The color, I think, is a little light. I don't know, it could be the lights. I feel like I don't look the same color. I just kinda wanna review like how it wears and the coverage and everything, but I actually really do like this foundation. 
So I picked up two concealers. I got the shade medium peach and the shade light medium beige. So I got the medium peach because I wanted to see if this would work as a under eye corrector. And then I got the light medium to use for highlighting and concealing. So I'm gonna go in with the medium peach first, like in the inner corner and right underneath the eye to color correct because I do have dark circles. And yeah, this does have a peachy undertone. So I think it's gonna help cancel out the darkness. I really like the consistency of these. It kind of reminds me of the Maybelline um, Better Skin, I think is what they are. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with my Beauty Blender. That definitely covered up my dark circles. I like the way that it blended out. It didn't get patchy, it's not drying. It blended in really well. So now I'm gonna go in with light medium and I'm gonna use this to highlight And then I'm gonna blend that out with the same Beauty Blender. So that actually blended in really well also. This concealer isn't a full coverage concealer, but I would say it's about a medium coverage and it's not heavy. It blended out really, really well and it looks really nice. It didn't do too much highlighting. I think I needed a lighter shade, but when I was looking for a lighter shade, they kind of looked kind of pink undertone. But I'm gonna go ahead and go in and set my concealer just with some translucent powder like I usually do, and then we'll go in and set the face. The foundation still feels kind of tacky. This is just gonna be one of those that I'm gonna have to go in and set but I'm gonna set the under eye area and everywhere where I highlighted really quick and then I'll go in with the powder and set the rest of my face. So now I'm gonna go in with the powder. This is the Photo Focus Press Powder and I picked up the shade Warm Beige. And I'm just gonna take a Beach Cosmetics 123 brush, it's just a flat powder brush and I'm just gonna pack that on my face want to make sure that I just pat it on because I don't want to move the foundation. And that actually looks pretty. So that actually looks really nice with the powder on top. Not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. The rest of my makeup has been done. The only thing that I didn't do were my lips and that's because I wanted to try the new liquid catsuit liquid lipsticks. I picked up three shades. So the first shade I got is Berry Recognize, which is a pretty berry color. I picked up Coral Corruption, which is this nice coral color, which I think is gonna be gorgeous for the spring and the summer. And then I also got Goth Topic, which is a more reddish, um, maybe brown. It looks like it had brown undertones. There was another um, like dark red color, but this one looked like it had more brown undertones in it. So I picked this one up. I think for today though, I'm gonna go in with, I don't know if I should do Berry Recognize or Goth Topic. Maybe I'll do all three. Let's do all three. I'll let, let's start with the lightest shade. This is Coral Corruption. I really like this color. It's very pretty. I love that it's very vibrant. I think this is gonna be a really used and loved liquid lipstick during the spring and summer. And they're very comfortable on the lip. Like it doesn't, it's not drying my lip. It's not, I definitely recommend that you exfoliate. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Berry Recognize. I really like this one too. This one's really pretty and they feel so good. They're not drying, they go on really smooth. I love this color. Now let's try Goth Topic. This color 
is dark. It's like really dark and it doesn't have the brown undertones that I thought that it had when I looked in the bottle. I love the color. Real quick, the prices. The foundation is $5.99, which I think for a drugstore foundation, it is definitely a good price. The concealers were $3.99. The pressed powder was $4.99. And the liquid lipsticks were also $4.99. So first impression of everything, I've had this foundation on for about half an hour. I think it looks really good. I've heard a lot of good things about this foundation, which was one of the reasons why I wanted to try it. And I really, I really like the way it looks right now. I've only had it on for 30 minutes, but it looks really good. The foundation looks good. It's set really well. The color, I think I got it pretty close. So I may keep that one. I mean, this is five, five ninety nine. You can't beat that. I mean, Go out and try it. If you don't like it, take it back. Everything that I bought today, I really loved. I don't have any complaints as of now. I will be checking in with you every few hours just to see how the foundation is wearing. So I will check in with you guys in a bit. back with a quick update. I didn't talk about this earlier, but the smell of this foundation is pretty strong. Uh, it kind of smells like paint. It wasn't as strong I think whenever I was applying it because it didn't really bother me but if you smell it out of the bottle it smells really strong I really liked it when I first applied it a couple hours ago I did notice that my face was getting a little itchy I also feel like it looks a bit cakey on my skin now I don't know if that's because I went in with two layers maybe I should have just gone in with one layer right here around the mouth it looks really really dry like it's almost cracking because it's so dry in this area so i don't feel like this would be the ideal foundation if you have really dry skin it just really looks bad around the mouth also i noticed that right here around the nose it was starting to separate a little bit. Not terrible, but I can definitely notice it. Other than that, everywhere else, it looks fine. It just looks really bad around the mouth. So I think this is going to be one of those foundations that I'll probably have to test out again during the summer months. I'm also going to try it again maybe sometime next week and then just do one layer instead of doing two to see if that makes it look less cakey. As far as the powder, I actually did like the way that the foundation looked after I applied the powder. It just made the foundation look a lot better. I definitely needed to set it. I don't mind the powder. I actually really liked the way this worked. As far as the concealers, I didn't really mind these. I don't like love them, but I don't hate them either. They're okay. They don't have super full coverage, which is fine for those no makeup makeup days they did blend out really nicely and they do feel lightweight for $3.99 $4 whatever they are these aren't bad I really like the medium peach shade because I did feel that that canceled out the darkness underneath my eyes so I think I'll be getting a lot of use out of that one because it worked really well to hide the darkness underneath the eye and last but not least the catsuit liquid lipsticks I actually really like the colors of these. They're very pretty. The only one that I didn't like too much, this one is super dark. It's a very pretty vampy color. I just could not get the sucker off. Like I rubbed and rubbed my lips and it was still like, it stained my lips. So it was a very hard to get off. They do last a long time. This one, it started to crack a little bit on my upper lip, but after I like ate and drank a little bit, it was still on. It just was a little cracked and patchy, if that makes sense. For the price point of all of these products, I think they are definitely worth a try. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions slash review of some of the new Wet n Wild products. Please let me know in the comments below if there's any other products you would like me to try for you. Also, any video suggestions, leave those in the comments below. I always like to hear what you guys want to see. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.